So today we're going to shoot a quick little video of, of me hunting around this old home site here. This building I'm standing in right now is actually Summer Kitchen and I'll show it to you a little bit later. The main house was behind it was behind the camera over there and it burned down but I'm going to use the Garrett AT Pro today. Oh, I'll get this actually the Garrett AT Gold with the uh, small loop on it. Now this place has been hunted a million times by a million people so um, I don't know if we're going to find anything at all but we're going to try and I'm going to shoot the video and I'm going to post the video no matter what we find so if we have a bunch of junk at the end you're going to get to see it uh, but I just want to show you how I set this thing up and what I'm listening for so I hope you enjoy unfortunately the roof's off of it but it's really old I mean this is pre-civil war these cool little windows and another window there this is a fireplace here but uh, yeah, it's a neat old fireplace. Well, I have my first find of the day and I haven't even turned my machine on yet. I was looking at the ground here where I had set my stuff down and I saw this green, this greenness right here. And uh, so here's a little artifact. This is a fireplace poker. Don't know how old, but it's kind of cool. I'll definitely take that home. Start to a good day. Okay, this is the back side of the little building I was just in. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hunt this uh, little cornfield right here. There's a lot of debris in this area. And if you look, you can see there's some glass, some glass there and lots of pottery. And if I remember correctly, tons of nails. So this would be a good place for us to start. Here's the gold. I'll show you how I'm gonna set it up. Let's turn it on. Very easy machine to use. It's really simple. I'm going to put it in um, disc one, and I'm going to leave the discrimination around 31 or so. I said to get rid of a lot of the small nails. It's going to be really noisy though, but uh, we'll check it out and see what happens. Okay, just to give you an idea how much iron is here. Okay, I have the machine um, set on zero discrimination, so listen to all these uh, beeps and pops. That's all iron, little nails and whatnot. That's why I think this loop is going to be really good in here. So we'll check it out. I'm going to crank the discrimination back up in the 30s. Get rid of some of those nails. Here's a decent little squeaker right here. See what's reading there. It's about underneath that little piece of stubble, so we'll find out what that is. that to the side. Yeah, another big piece of iron. Yeah. Same stuff too. I don't know what it is, but hmm. Well, I finally got a signal that's not iron, but I can see it, so. It's right there. Like a little hinge or something. Brass. Little hinge, I guess. Okay, I think maybe something here. Maybe tiny again, very, very small. But here it's good signal, broken up though. But there's so many nails in here that uh, you're just gonna have to dig these questionable ones too. Yeah, see, that's better now. I moved a little bit of soil off the top. I have to grab my shovel, it's like a mile away. Hey, okay, bear with me. It's really cold out here today, and my fingers are freezing. I can't do this without uh, with um, gloves on. So, Okay, it's a piece of melted lead. So, 
Gotta dig that. Melted lead sounds like gold, so let's keep looking. Well, I just dug my first button. It's a little flat button. So oh, that's good. Came out of the hole right there. Onward and upward. This one sounds a little more hopeful. I wish I'd take these headphones off for you, but I got them uh, glued on uh, the connector so it won't come loose for my water hunting. Yeah, see, it's still kind of shaky, but I'm going to dig it. I'm sure that got it. No, maybe not. Make sure it's not out of here. Yeah, it's still down there. All right, so it's definitely out of the hole. It's right there. It's really jumpy though, so I don't know about this one, but there is so much iron in here. Well, let's see what this is. Oh, a giant chunk of the same iron. Oy. Oh well. Okay, so I moved off from the side of the house a little bit. There's a neat drainage ditch here that goes down through the middle of the field. You can see how it kind of bends around down there. Tons of targets here, so I'm going to hunt this for a little bit. So we're going to follow this trench down. You can see we're cut right through the field here. And maybe some goodies washed in. I do see something already right here somewhere. Uh, there it is. There's a little piece of brass. It's probably inside to a or clock or something. There's something else right there. What's this? Huh. That's kind of weird. Don't know about that thing, but it's brass. But yeah, you can see there's tons of nails in here too. You know, lots of nails and all kinds of wire. Let's just kind of walk along here. See what we can see eyeballing. There's some uh, aluminum. Yeah, that's probably the clock right there. That's probably what I'm finding the pieces of. Well, I don't know if that's a clock. Yeah, I guess it could be. Kind of looks like it. Big, um, big chunk of uh, junky stuff there. He's like aluminum cans, so there's going to be a lot of junk in here. This oyster shell. That was a good sign. Those from early sites. Some more iron. Oh, we've got to check this kind of thing out right here too, because that could be a um, a ramrod for a musket. But I don't think that is. Of course, you've seen these in my videos. That's a cord or a battery. It's kind of like carbon. Ah, there's something. What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's not very old, but it's brass. I'll definitely say that. Just give you an idea why I'm having such trouble, I think, here today. Is look at these uh, nails. The whole pile of nails here. See them all? That's what this whole field is like. It's just scattered everywhere. There's a little something here. I don't know about this. Kind of cool. I like it. I don't know if it's old, but I'll keep that one for sure. And a nice little signal here. Really solid, so I think that might be something. I don't see any iron in the hole yet. That's a good sign. Oh, jeez, look. A big chunk of iron. Oh my god. I gotta quit digging this stuff. I don't know what it is though. Don't know, but uh, I'm getting tired of it. So what I did is I went ahead and cranked the discrimination up to 40. You know, try to get rid of some of that iron because I'm just digging tons of iron. And I do have a decent signal here. It's reading right around 60. 
pretty repeatable, so I have high hopes for this one. I actually lost a spot where I had it. Sorry about that. Kind of like a bigger hole than I needed to dig there, but... Okay, it's out of the hole. Yay! There it is, right there. See, it's good repeatable signal. It's not very big. Okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. Some type of little um, grommet, I guess. Or a uh, little button. Like maybe a uh, overall button. And that's the start. Another nice big signal here. It's almost too big, you know. It's a little scratchy, but it's. We're going to dig that one. Iron. Huh. Yeah, that's iron all right. It's like a hoe or something. Yeah, I guess that's exactly what it is. This is where the handle would have gone in it. Yeah, we'll keep her. So there's a little building where I started out, and uh, so I moved over here closer to the ruins of the old house. You see, that's the foundation right down in there. And uh, that's a chimney pile over there, and there's another chimney pile right here. But look at this thing, man. This is the uh, one of the old cisterns. And um, it's scary looking, man. But look at that. I'm glad there's no, like, homeless dude down in there floating around. But I tell you, if someone fell in there, they would never, ever get out. That's a death trap. Yeah, that's definitely a cistern. It's always scary to see these things in the woods. Moist, scary. Okay, wrapping it up here today. I've uh, been here about three, maybe four hours. I hunted really hard all around this little stone house, uh, over by the main house. And I found a ton of junk today, a lot of iron, a couple buttons, you know, a few odds and ends, nothing real great. Um, you know, shouldn't be a real surprised because this place has been hit hard. Uh, but I did, you know, eke out a little bit with the, with the gold today, so I shouldn't complain too much. You know, we have those days. Uh, but I'll show you what I found. I have it laid out behind me here Okay, so this is what I ended up with today. Uh, I got a bunch of iron. This is a snowbird This would go on the roof of the house and there'd be a line of those that would keep the snow and the ice from sliding off uh, normally a uh, tin roof and so it wouldn't slide up and hit you in the head and they got a monkey wrench and this is maybe to uh, You know that's a pivot so that they would swing open a bunch of broken horseshoes. This is that hoe I found. This is part of a sickle bar more. Um, this is probably the most interesting thing I found. It's a wing. I guess it's uh, probably off of a car ornament of some kind. Of course it's broken. To get a little bottle. One little bottle today. This is all the iron I was digging on the video. Don't know what it goes to. Um, this is my best finds right here. As you can see I got a few flat buttons. This one here, and it's a couple here. This is a pewter one, so it's probably pretty old. Uh, nothing real great. Um, some type of little decorative something. Uh, but yeah, nothing really great today, but I had a good time. Appreciate you hanging out with me.